You'll see that smoke coming off the water. It's pretty, ain't it? It's because the water's warmer than the air temperature. It's like 30 something degrees. <laughs> it's, I'm not on the Georgia coast. I'm up here at Lake Weiss in North Alabama. We're gonna try to catch some crappie today. I didn't get any artificial, I mean, I didn't get any, um, I was about to say I didn't get any shrimp. I sure didn't get any shrimp. I didn't get any minnows. I'm just fishing artificial. I'm just going to see if I can come up with something. i got about five hours to fish before the ball games come on because it's Saturday. So let's get after it, guys. All right. Just had a couple of bites right there. I don't know if it's crappie or not for sure. I saw something this morning I've never seen before on the way here in my whole life. There was a uh, donkey at the end of the driveway down next to the road at this people's house just laying there next to the road and as I drove by it got up and went up the driveway into the yard just a loose donkey free range donkey now I've seen plenty of donkeys you know but I ain't never seen that that was, <laughs> that was a new one for me the donkey roaming around freely I don't know what that means for fishing. I don't know if that's a good sign, a bad sign. If I was an American Indian, that probably would be some kind of significance for me. Resting donkey. It'd probably be my name. My Native American name, resting donkey. The water temperature, it said, is about 56. And that should be good for crappie fishing. It's not real deep up there. It's only four feet right here at the front of the boat. I know there's some... Bro oh, there's, there's one. I don't know what this is. He's, that's like a bass. That's acting like a bass. For sure. Yeah, I think I got a bass here, guys. Every time... I try to crappie fish. I catch bass. Every time. <laughs> it's the craziest thing. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it's a little, little uh, hybrid there. Strapper. Or white bass. Maybe that's just a white bass. That makes sense. I don't mind catching these. I'll tell you right now. I don't mind it. Not what I'm looking for, but oh, he hit it, he ate it up. Definitely gonna hear me sniffling. God, what a beautiful morning! I mean, it's absolutely spectacular. Love it, even though it's cold. Another one. Crappie this time, real little. Okay. So, they're up there pretty shallow, guys. Pretty shallow. It's very interesting. Now, that is where I had the two or three bites, right in that same spot. And I'm just kind of keeping this thing rolling. Birds are singing, sun is shining, air is cold. Chris is fishing. A lot of these docks will have brush out. something good this is something good something heavy a lot of them will have brush out beside them or in front of them so the people can fish you know that live there we'll have a little secret brush pile stuck out there there's another white bass I guess it's a white bass it's a good one There's, there's white bass, there's hybrid, it's a cross between a white bass and a striper, and then there's striper. Now, I know this is not a striper. 
And it looks like a white bass. Pretty little guy. That's fun. I love to catch those fish. A lot of people don't like to mess with them. But I do. Anyway, people will have brush piles out here. So sometimes I just go through here. I know this from bass fishing. I fish this area in bass fishing. So I'm just going to try to hunt down brush piles and okay go again this looks like a little, little where's the big crappie at guys that's two babies but at least it's two crappie i know that oh guy pretty pretty all right now let's go right back where i had that bite right there they are actually more shallow than them white bass the white bass seem to be out here and the crappies seem to be up there on the floor, on the shallower part and the white bass are right where the drop off is now when I say drop off it ain't dropping off it's but about three or four feet from one and two feet. Ooh, this one's pulling. Another white bass. Okay. Okay, guys, got another one here. I'm gonna tell you what now. Y'all, me, I, my camera has not been working out. I guess because it's cold, but I, I've caught seven or eight more fish that you guys did not get to see and I am not happy about it I mean I have three actually I have two cameras and three batteries to make sure and uh, I don't know what I guess it's the cold I finally got this one to start working but y'all have missed a bunch of fish it's aggravating it is aggravating but you know what it's kind of cool because I caught a bunch of fish. <laughs> so, I'm not upset with the fishing. I'm upset with the camera. Cameras. Because there's more than one. Aggravating, guys. For real. But I caught, I don't know, about four or five white bass. And seemed like four or five crappie. I mean, the more my camera messed up, the faster I caught them. And then I kind of got out of my spot. This might be a, nope. That might have been a fish. Wasn't. But the way they're hitting is the crappie, like you, you don't, so a lot of times you don't even feel them. They're just on. And they're way up shallower. And the white bass are out here. And I caught two or three nice white bass. I mean, the biggest ones for today. And of course, the biggest crappie, of course. So let's just see if we can uh, get them cranked back up here. I really get frustrated with Lake Wise because I, I don't hardly ever come up here. And then when I do, I expect to catch a whole bunch of fish. And half the time I don't because it's, you know, that's the way freshwater fishing are, man. These fish just may not bite at all. At least with the saltwater, you got a tide change. And, you know, at some point during the day, man, those fish eat a lot more. They're a lot more aggressive and, and a lot more predictable. Or you got a lot better chance over the course of the day to catch fish. Here, man, you may go the whole day. They may not ever bite. You just never know. Oh, there you go. I take that back. I take everything bad back I said about y'all. This might be a crappie because he was way up there. And it is. And it is. Uh oh. What I got this time? 
another white bass going crazy now that's like kind of like what I was catching a while ago I had one that was a little bigger than this and then the one that was about like this for sure those are not bad especially when you're fishing with a crappie jig and a crappie rod it makes it pretty exciting guys pretty exciting oh. <laughs> looks like another one oh yeah what is that oh that's a big crop nice 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 guys now, wish I had my net out I wish I had my net out y'all got to see that now man man that's what everybody's looking for out here these guys like this big fat healthy pretty smart quick athletic <laughs> oh man that was so cool let's try that again it's right there where a crappie's supposed to be. There you go. Some of that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it a white bass or is it a crappie? It's acting like a white bass. It's acting a little white bassy. Man, it is. Get my bass. Look at there, guys. Got a little bit bigger fish right here. Uh oh. He swallowed that hook pretty good. Here we go again. This may be the biggest white bass of the day. At least it's. May not be the biggest, but it's pulling harder. Damn. Oh, that's the biggest. It's the beast. That's that. Man. That's a fat dude. Wow. Sorry I caught you fat. You're just well proportioned. I'll say it that way. Well proportioned fish. I don't mind one bit. Catching those white bass. <laughs> I'd tell you that right now. I can say I'm crocker fishing all day long, but I'm not going to get my feelings hurt one bit if I catch another species of fish. So, all of this has been with a 1 16th ounce jig head and a Bobby Garland electric chicken color. one of those days where I walked out here and had the right color on the jig already didn't even have to figure out what color they were hitting and a white bass and a good one good one for this kind of fishing now they do get bigger Now this time, this may be a bass, possibly. Oh, no, it's a, what we got here? Oh, another white bass. Okay. I thought it might be a large mouth. Man, it was really pulling now. This guy is strong. Pretty. much longer to fish. I told you I couldn't fish long. Cause these ball games. Lord. This thing is wild now. 
completely and totally wild. Wild animal. Doing what wild animals do. Trying to get away. Oh, here we go. A little better crappie. The water temperature has actually warmed up a couple of degrees. And that's the first one I've caught out in front of a dock, which means they must be moving out a little bit. There you go. What we got now? Another white bass? Yeah. Yeah, apparently I shouldn't have wasted my time in those other two spots I fished. And I did catch a couple of white bass in that one spot, but the stretch bank right here has been the deal. It's been the dealio. There's a fish that just chased something all the way up on the bank. Oh, got another one. What we got now? White bass. y'all caught a lot of fish had a good time i uh, appreciate y'all watching well uh i wish i could fish tomorrow uh i gotta go uh stay with my dad for about a week but uh that's good that'll be just as good as fishing with the og fisherman hanging out with him so uh you guys have a good day and come up here to lake wise catch some crappie